Dear Future Self, It's currently the fifth month of 2020. It feels like the last time I checked my calendar was March. You graduate college in 30 days. It seems scary, right? How it feels like it was just yesterday you were graduating high school. You feel trapped. A prisoner of your own thoughts. You're hearing left and right how things will get better. You struggle to make sense of it. All of it. You struggle to make sense of how mundane tasks such as getting out of bed can feel like conquering mountains. You can find in your phone an escape and a trap. All at once. You try to sleep it off, hoping you'll wake up the next morning with a new perspective on life. Hoping you'll wake up hating yourself a little less, hating the world a little less. You try to escape from the reality of your own feelings, but to the irony of the situation, whatever you're trying to escape from ends up making a surprise appearance at night, just as your head hits the pillow. Is this the universe playing a joke on me now? You think to yourself. You ignore text messages even though you long for affection. You try not to break down and cry, but you also refuse to make an effort to be better, to feel better. The loneliness creeps in just as the emptiness bores a hole inside your chest. When is this gonna end? You think to yourself in hopes to hear a thought back, bringing a shed of light, but it doesn't come. How could it? You try to think that you're a princess on lockdown to make it easier on yourself. Like Rapunzel, or even Belle, when the beast locked her down in his castle. But you're not. You're an ordinary girl with anxiety and depression, trying to hide from your own feelings while the loud voice of loneliness plays in the background. You know, succumbing to your anxiety won't do you any good. But you also know that healing is not linear. It never was. You know that every day is not thunder and clouds, but every day is in flowers and rainbows. You look for signs. You search for a beacon of light. The one that doesn't talk, but comforts. There's a lot you're wrong about. A lot you still can't grasp. Your mental health depicts a picture of you in quicksand, but you aren't. You stand with steel feet ready to take on each day. You're brave. There's a law you don't understand. But it gets better. You'll stop measuring your days by the number of tears you've shed. Or the number of laughs you didn't feel. You'll stop measuring your worth by your productivity rate.